He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves traps on his stopping in Duva, this you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, you've got a job to do. Come on, you've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind the door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Red Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovets. This is your chance to find who you really are now. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solvets. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us.
Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave within the hour. We won't let the president down. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. Sure, you're not forgetting something, Bill. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him. Fucking lied to us. That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes. I had no other choice but to trust you. What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. Those nukes were for defense, not offense. You don't recognize the difference? I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Why am I not fucking surprised? Time's up, kid.
here, comrade. This is it. Your friend went through here. He is not far. Come out and play. You are running out of time. And space. The cat becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? <laughs> I'd offer you a cigarette, but you don't smoke anymore. We tried to help you with all your worst qualities. <coughs> I guess science still has its limits. Please, just shut him up. Looks like you made a new friend. <coughs> I'm happy for you. He seems charming. He's really growing on me. <coughs> Loyalty survives even through betrayal. I'm sure that wasn't easy. You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. Light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure.
As with Kasim, the CIA is now holding Anton Volkov. If you can locate him, bring him back to us. If they have broken him, he must be eliminated. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished at Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Unfortunately, our key asset within the U.S., Robert Aldrich, was killed. Our spy ring there is still intact, but we will need to rebuild and find new leadership. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help Shepard in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate two of Rudnik's key assets. The remaining one will help fill the void left behind. But have no doubt, these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. <laughs>